system of cardiovascular system uh, mainly important for pumping of blood and receiving of uh, blood from the peripheral system and uh, pumping of uh, blood towards to the peripheral system so the heart is uh, the main organ that important for pumping and receiving of uh, uh, blood from the peripheral organ and pumping towards to the peripheral system so when we see about heart heart is a double self-adjusted adjusting and suction and pressuring of pump the power of uh, blood that uh, move towards the peripheral surfaces come from the heart so this is a power that find from that so the pressure of pumping is come from the wall of the heart the heart, is, the heart and the precardiac sac are situated oblique they are find an oblique situation approximately two thirds to the left two thirds of the heart part is find on the left side and one third of uh, the heart part part is fine on the right median plane so thirds of the heart find on the left side and one third is fine on the left i mean on the right median plane so this is a normal anatomical position of the heart the heart and the root of great vessel within the precardiac sacs are related to anteriorly to the sternum costal cartilage and the anterior end of third of the fibs ribs so when we see the structure related to the heart and the root of a great vessel the sternum is mainly find anterior to the heart and the costal cartilage also as well as the third and the fibs ribs the third up to fibs ribs costal cartilage sternum they are find anterior to the heart so the heart has four chambers the right atrium the left atrium right ventricle and left ventricle those heart has four chamber two artery right and left two ventricle right and left ventricles the atria the atria or the atrium they are very important for receiving of blood receiving of blood but the ventricle have the ability to pump blood the ventricle that rain, they have a capacity to receiving blood from the peripheral organ but the ventricle the function of ventricle they have able to pump blood towards to the peripheral system but we can classify we can classify it or uh, categorize the heart to right sides of the heart and left sides of the heart. The right side of the heart, that means the right atrium and the right ventricle, they can receive poorly oxygenated blood. So let's see heart and bullet McFarland. በቀኝ በኩል የሚገኘው የሃርት ክፍልና በግራ በኩል የሚገኘው የሃርት ክፍል ብለ The right side of the heart only receive poorly or deoxygenated blood that come from vena cava that means superior vena cava and inferior vena cava the coronary sinus this is a coronary sinus is a sinus which drain deoxygenated blood from the heart itself the heart so the heart has its own deoxygenated blood that deoxygenated blood is drained towards the heart by the coronary sinus 
ሀርት በራሷ የምታመነጭ ቆሻሻ ደም አለ ወይም ደግሞ ኦክስጅን የሌለው ደም that blood is transported by coronary sinus to heart to heart finally the right side of the heart pump blood to heart to the pulmonary tract this pulmonary tract finally transport the blood to heart to the lung to heart to the lung so the lung is the final destination for pulmonary tract why the blood is goes to the lung for purpose of oxygenation in order to get oxygen the blood is transported from the right side of the heart to the pulmonary tract finally it goes to the lung the lung has oxygen and this deoxygenated blood is changed into oxygenated blood the left sides of the heart the left sides of the heart the left sides of the heart means the left atrium and the left ventricle they receive oxygenated blood that means oxygen rich blood that come from the lung as i told you that the site of oxygenation is lung the right side of the heart pump blood towards to the lung by the tube of pulmonary trunk and the lung make or change deoxygenated blood to oxygenated blood so that oxygenated blood returning back towards to the left sides of the heart through pulmonary vein look in our body in the vein vein means vein means all veins they can transport deoxygenated blood from the periphery to the heart except the pulmonary vein the pulmonary vein they transport oxygenated blood from the lung to the heart this vein is exceptional vein why it exceptional because all veins they can transport the oxygenated blood but the pulmonary vein it transport oxygenated blood so finally the left side of the heart pump it into the aorta the great vessels this great vessels it transport the oxygenated blood and distribute it to the peripheral parts of the body peripheral parts of the body but the atrium both the left atrium and the right atrium they synchronize and they contract the ventricle the right ventricle and the left ventricle simultaneously contracted left and now the left atrium atrium which band like contract they are galu ventricle which they are going to atrium which they are going to contract they are galu ለምሳሌ ሌፍት አትሪየም ለብቻው ኮንትራክት አረጋግጥ during the time of left atrium contraction the right atrium so contracted during the time of the right ventricle is contracted the left ventricle simultaneously contracted but the left I and mean, the atrium and the ventricle doesn't contracted simultaneously በተመሳሳይ ጊዜ contract ar ventricle na atrium chu malatin so that is called synchronous pumping action of the heart the heart look this picture look this is the right side of the heart which is the right atrium and the right ventricle there is also the left atrium and the left ventricle which is the left side of the heart good this one is superior vena cava and this is inferior vena cava and this is a pulmonary trunk and this is a pulmonary vein 
So the right heart rhythm and the right ventricle, the right heart rhythm and the right ventricle, they receive the oxygenated blood from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And <clears throat> the left side of the heart, the left heart rhythm and the left ventricle, they receive blood from the lung from pulmonary vein the left pulmonary vein and the right pulmonary vein so the four pulmonary vein they send blood to the left artery so the left artery push blood to to the left ventricle finally the left ventricle pump blood to the aorta the aorta so the aorta distributed blood to arms to different parts of the body different parts of the body this is this is some internal picture of uh, the heart which classified we can classify it, the heart right side of the heart and left side of the heart both sides have artery and ventricle and the right side have receive uh, deoxygenated blood the left side of the heart receive oxygenated blood let us see the diagram the diagram shows the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava that transport deoxygenated blood to the right atrium and the right atrium uh, blood go uh, sent to the right ventricles and this is a pulmonary trunk the pulmonary trunk gives a pulmonary artery that transport blood from the right ventricle to the lung and this uh, view is anterior view of the heart and there is also the red color that transport blood the oxygenated blood from the lung to the heart which is the left pulmonary vein so the left pulmonary vein that transport blood to the left atrium and the left ventricle the left ventricle transport blood to the greater artery which is called aorta so there is aortic arch and the descending aorta the descending aorta is a branch of i mean the continuation of aorta the continuation of aorta this is the anterior view of the heart the anterior view of the heart that transports uh, between the aorta and the pulmonary trunk there is a ligament atrium and the left ventricle gives the apex of the heart the posterior view, when you see the posterior view of uh, the heart, there is, uh, uh, there is a superior vena cava and a inferior vena cava. And this is right atrium. This one is uh, right ventricle. And this is the pulmonary artery. And the pulmonary arteries, the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary artery. This one, the red color shows the pulmonary vein to the right pulmonary vein and to the left pulmonary veins and the pulmonary veins the right pulmonary vein and the left pulmonary veins they transport oxygenated blood to the left atrium and finally they give the send to the right ventricle and arch of aorta so the this is also another diagram which shows the internal feature of the heart and the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Uh, the superior vena cava, the superior vena cava, and the inferior vena cava they transport blood to the right atrium. The right atrium send blood to the right ventricle through uh, the tricuspid valve. This is tricuspid valve and the right ventricle send blood to the pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary valve and the blood is goes to the lung finally it re back to the right the left atrium the left atrium send blood to pump blood to the left ventricle through the mitral valve the mitral valve and the left ventricle pump blood to the aorta and through the aortic valve this is the internal feature of the heart and the aorta pump the aorta send the blood to uh, arch of aorta and sending aorta
and descending our tar. Let us see the wall of the heart. The wall of the heart, the wall of each heart chamber consists of three layers. Three layers. The endocardium, the endocardium, which is the internal wall, the endocardium. It is a thin internal layer mainly formed from epithelium. Epithelium. So the endocardium is the internal layer of the wall of the heart and they are formed from epithelium, which is called endothelium. So the endothelium, they cover, the endo they form endocardium. And this endocardium, they can cover the valve, valve, valve the door of the heart the door of the heart and they are important for preventing regurgitation of the heart and it, it make the direction of blood flow in one direction in unidirections it give unidirectional flow of the blood next to the endocardium from the internal layer of I mean the internal part of the heart the most internal part is endocardium and next to the endocardium it is myocardium. The myocardium is the thickest layer of heart wall, which is found at the middle layer. And this myocardium is mainly composed from cardiac muscles. So the myocardium is a thicker wall which found between the endocardium and the epicardium and they form from cardiac muscles. In our body, we have three types of muscle cells, skeleton muscle cells, cardiac muscle cells, and smooth muscle cells. The cardiac muscle cells, they form the middle layer of the heart wall, which is called myocardium. The myocardium is the thickest layer of when compared to the endocardium and epicardium. The most outer part is epicardium. So the epicardium is the most outer part, as I told you in precardium. Epicardium is a precardium. Okay, epicardium is another name of epicardium is pericardium. So the pericardium have the visceral layer and the parietal layer. So a thin external layer formed by the visceral layer, serous epicardium. So the visceral layer of serous pericardium, they form epicardium. So epicardium is one part of a pericardium. One part of a pericardium, which is mainly formed from the visceral layer of serous pericardium, as I told you that. Next to the visceral layer of serous pericardium, we can get precardial cavity with a precardial fluid. Next to the precardial cavity, you can get the parietal layer of serous, serous precardium. The most outer one is the fibrous precardium. So the heart has three layers, three wall layers. The endocardium, the most internal one, myocardium, the middle one, epicardium, the most outer part. The endocardium is formed from the epithelial cells, which is called endothelium. The myocardium is mainly formed from cardiac cells or cardiac muscle cells. The epicardium is formed from mesothelium, which is a part of serous membrane. The wall of the heart consists mostly of the thick myocardium. So this thick myocardium this thick myocardium mainly form a ventricles. So the cardiac muscle fibers are anchored to the fibrous skeleton of the heart. Look, the muscle cells should fix within the bone or connective tissue. So these cardiac muscles attach with the fibrous skeleton of the heart. In our body, there is a bone, but within the heart, there is a skeleton. This skeleton is mainly formed from fibers. So the cardiac muscle cells attach with the fibrous skeleton heart, fibrous skeleton of the heart. 
So the fibrous skeleton of the heart, they form, they are very important for attachments of heart. So this complex framework of dense collagen forming for fibrous ring. This for fibrous ring important for the origin of the origin of the origin of muscles cardiac muscle and is very important for the orifice of the valve when the not muscle to metal yeah atrium atrium is formed from myocardial muscles the ventricles the right ventricle and the left ventricle the right atrium means the left atrium together and they come with attach within the fibers so this fibers ring is one it is very important for the origin of cardiac muscle two it is very important for uh, surrounding and protect the valve valve which is the bar and the mascot this valve which is menasha when the move surround our go or junagal glands then it protect also valve movement valve which sink as a casual motion protect the other gamut so this is this uh, picture shows that fibers ring look this is a fibrous skeleton this is one ring this is one fibrous ring and uh, this is another fibrous ring there is four fibrous ring this is formed from uh, connective tissue this is also another fibrous ring at the back there is also another fibrous ring so this fibrous ring the four fibrous ring it forms uh, it form. for example this is the right fibrous ring very important for attachment of right ventricle and the origin of the origin of tricuspid valve this one is atrial fibrous ring this is atrial fibrous ring this one is the left ventricular fibrous ring so we can get four fibrous ring that is uh, important for origin of muscles so the muscle or cardiac muscles they attach with the fibrous ring and they protect the valve movement the valve movement so the root of the valve is originated from within fibers ring. What is the function of uh, fibrous skeleton? The function of fibrous skeleton keep the orifice of the atrioventricular valve. AV means atrioventricular valve. That means atrioventricles. They keep the orifice of atria atrioventricle there is orifice or opening that find between the atrium and the ventricle but atrium na be ventricle um kakel yemigen orifice alle so orifice they keep the orifice and it prevents the valve forming being over overlying distance by increasing the volume of blood during pumping or receiving of the blood sometimes the valve become over stretched this is protected by fibrous skeleton thus it provide attachment for leaflet and cusps of the valve as i told you that the fibrous skeletons are important for the attachment of the root of the leaflet and the cusps of the valve this is some function of uh, fiber skeleton and also it provides attachment for myocardia attachment for myocardia so the myocardia is originated from within fiber skeleton and the main function of fiber skeleton which is insulators there is electrical impulse that come from the atrium to the ventricle due to the presence of fibrous skeleton between the atrium and the ventricle the electrical impulse that come from the atrium does not directly goes to the ventricle because the fibrous skeleton is insulated 
doesn't transmit electrical numbers. So, in order to transport electrical numbers or action potential from that ring to the ventricle, it need in other track, other track, which is called conducting dimples by conducting conducting transaction work conducting transaction work so the conducting system of the heart is different from skeleton muscles and nerve muscles i mean nerves so because of the presence of fiber skeleton that find between that ring and ventricle so the fiber skeleton has a function of insulator like insulator like let us see surface feature of the heart. Externally, the atria are demarcated from the ventricle by the atrioventricular groove. There is a groove. When we see the heart in the outer part, you can get a groove. So, how can you differentiate? This part is atrium, this part is ventricle. You should find the atrioventricular groove or the coronary groove the, if you get the coronary groove you can say that the superior part is atrium the inferior part is ventricle how do you differentiate the right ventricle from left ventricle so heart in zimbala chuka uchi kuna chusitaya hinyo atrium na hinyo ventricle na hinyo right ventricle na hinyo left ventricle na la malet yinya gale glu surface feature of chalo so the right ventricle and the left ventricle are demarcated by the anterior and the posterior interventricular groove. If you get this anterior and posterior interventricular groove, we can say that this, one, this part is left, this part is right. Let us see this picture. This is surface anatomy, only heart, no? So which one is atrium? It's not atrium. First, you should find the atrioventricular group. This is atrioventricular or coronary group. A atrioventricular or coronary group. If you get this group, we can say that this is atrium. Atrium This surface. So ziga dissect the taragu atrium This the large part is ventricle. No. How do you know? By finding the coronary growth. This is surface feature of that. So, how can you differentiate the left ventricle from right ventricle? Now, you guys, let us have a left ventricle. You now, this one is right ventricle. We can say, but how? How can this implant say it's up normally? First, we should find. The anterior means the posterior interventricular groove. This is interventricular groove. The artery we need but put a groove now. This is anterior, uh, anterior inter interventricular groove. You can get also posterior inter interventricular groove. So by demarcating this anterior interventricular groove, we can say this is right ventricle. This is right ventricle. And this one is left ventricle. This is surface feature of uh, heart to say this is atrium, this one is ventricle, this is the right ventricle, this one is the left ventricle. Shop of the heart, the heart has apex, the shop of the heart, the heart has uh, apex, it look like pyramidal sharp so we can get apex the heart has base and the heart has four surface and four border look in this topic which parts of the heart form the apex which parts of the heart form base which parts of the heart form the four surface and the four border the apex is mainly formed by the left ventricle the left ventricle so the main the main organ, the main parts of the heart which form the apex is 
left ventricle. The base of the heart is mainly formed by the left artery and the right artery. We'll see that. Look this picture. Look this picture. There is four borders as I told you that. Four ball, 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 uh, border. The superior border. There is a superior border. And uh, the right border. The left border. And there is also inferior border. So we can get four borders. Superior border. Right border. Left border. And inferior border but the inferior border also it is a surface the inferior border also inferior surface it form the inferior surface the superior border is formed by great vessels the right border is mainly formed by the right artery and the right ventricle the left border is mainly formed by the, main, the left border is mainly uh, formed by the left ventricles. The apex, the apex is mainly formed by the left ventricle. The diaphragmatic surface, the diaphragmatic surface is mainly formed by the right ventricle, mainly, but less likely the left ventricle also form the diaphragmatic or the inferior border. So you should now which parts of the heart form which border and which surfaces. The apex of the heart, which is uh, the boundary of the apex of the heart, is mainly find the apex of, if you want to get the apex of the heart in the outer part, in the superficial part, you can get at the left fifth intercostal space. So at the left fifth intercostal space, at the middle clavicular line, or at nine centimeter from the medial plane, nine centimeter from the medial plane, you can get the fibs, you can get the apex. So the apex of the heart is fine at the left sides of the thoracic cavity, at, at the level of mid middle clavicular line fifth intercostal space or when we measure in top nine centimeter from the medial plane so the apex uh, is mainly formed from what the apex is mainly formed from the left ventricle so at the level of the apex we can get apical bit you heard mitten we will be heartbeat, heartbeat when the apical beat and agony at the level of apex. So, by finding the fifth intercostal space and nine centimeters from the medial plane or the mid, mid, the mid clavicular line, you can get the heartbeat. So, this heartbeat is formed due to the mitral ball closure. When the mitral ball is closed when the mitral bulb is closed uh, <clears throat> we can get heart sound heart sound which is called apical beat or heart beat so the heart beat is fine that the apex of the heart so the apex is formed mainly by the parts of the left ventricle the left ventricle is the main parts of the heart which form Apex. So this is apex. Look, this is surface anatomy. This is apex. This is apex, and this is a left ventricle. So the left. I mean, sorry. This is a apex, and this one is the left ventricle. So the left ventricle is mainly for the apex, and this one is the right ventricle. This is the inferior border, and this is right border, I mean left border, this one is right border, this one is inferior border, this one is superior border, and 
This is anterior surface. And this one is diaphragmatic surface. So we can see the surface and border in outside coach and border room surface What what is this? This is coronary groove or atrioventricular groove. So is it on the coronary groove? This is atrium. This is ventricle, right and left ventricle. Based on <coughs> the anterior interventricular groove, we can say this is right ventricle. This one is left ventricle blend. Good. And this one is right The base of the heart, the heart, the base of the heart is formed mainly by the left atrium and less likely by the left, the right ventricle. So the base of the heart is opposite to the apex. It's fine opposite to the apex. It's mainly formed by the left atrium. Don't forget that. The base of the heart mainly formed by left atrium. But there is some contribution that comes from the right atrium. So if you count the base of the heart by the vertebral number, we can get the base of the heart from T6 up to T9. So the base of the heart, when we see the fixed number of the vertebra, we can get the base of the heart at the level of T6 up to T9. So the base of the heart, as I told you, that the base of the heart is nearest to esophagus and aorta. It is nearest to esophagus and aorta. That find anterior to the esophagus and aorta. The base of the heart is covered by oblique, covered by oblique precardial signs. So the oblique precardial signs is fine at the base of the heart. So if you if you get the base of the heart near to posterior to the base of the heart, <coughs> we can get oblique precardium sinus, and you can get poster, posterior to the oblique precardium sinus. We can get esophagus and aorta. Poster, posterior to the esophagus and the aorta, there is vertebral number T6 up to T9. So if you want to count the base of the heart. You can get the base of the heart at the level of T6 up to T9, thoracic vertebral T6, 6 and thoracic, thoracic vertebral 9. So the base of the heart extends superiorly to the bifurcation of the pulmonary tract, inferior to the coronary group. So the base of the heart receives a pulmonary vein. The base of the heart at the base of the heart, we can get the four pulmonary vein, two right pulmonary vein and two left pulmonary vein. At the base of the heart, we can get also the root of superior and inferior vein cava. Good. If you get the base of the heart, we should appreciate. We should appreciate the oblique sinus, oblique precardial sinus. We should appreciate the pulmonary vein the right two pulmonary vein and the left two pulmonary vein. We should appreciate the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. If you get the base of the heart, we should appreciate the two atrium, mainly the left atrium, less likely the right atrium. So, if you get the apex, opposite to the apex, we can get the base. So at the base of the heart, we should appreciate those structures. Nazin structures appreciate marag when the might malati. Look, this is a picture. Look, this is apex. Opposite to the apex, you can get base. This is the base. Apex and kaganyat while opposite, you can get apex. So this is the base, the base. I'm almost hello. Base. So this is the precardial 
oblique precardial signs the oblique precardial signs no? and there is also left superior columnar vein left columnar vein and right columnar vein good the other structure we should appreciate the superior vena cava superior vena cava and inferior vena cava so the base of the heart is look like rectangle re rectangular base of the heart is look like rectangular so at this at this rectangular structure we should get those structures nasal structure is magnet normal should get precardial signs oblique precardial signs the plumnar vein left and right superior and inferior vena cava and this is the left atrium this is the left atrium a left atrium no this one is the right atrium nasal structure you should appreciate nasal structure you should shed marag alleten malis good the full surface of the heart so we we have seen about apex base and border let us see about the full surface the anterior surface of the heart mainly formed by the right ventricle the right ventricle so the right ventricle forms mainly the right ventricle form the anterior surface so the diaphragmatic surface or the inferior surface is mainly formed by left ventricle mainly formed by left ventricle but some less likely it's formed by right ventricle so the major parts of the left ventricle for the diaphragmatic surface but some parts of the right ventricle have the contribution for the formation of diaphragmatic surface of the heart The right pulmonary surface, sorry, the right pulmonary surface mainly formed by the right ventricle. The right pulmonary surface mainly formed by the right atrium. The left pulmonary surface it is mainly formed by left ventricle. So the left ventricle, the uh, right pulmonary surface is mainly formed from right atrium. The left pulmonary surface is mainly formed by left ventricle. We should, we should we should we should uh, focus on which parts of the heart can form which parts of the surface which parts of the border for example the right border of the heart is formed by right atrium right ventricle superior vena cava and inferior vena cava the right border is mainly formed by right ventricle i mean the right atrium and superior vena cava and inferior vena cava less likely the right ventricle have some contribution the superior part of the right ventricle they have some contribution for formation of right border the inferior border the inferior border formed mainly by the right ventricle less likely or slightly by the left ventricle the left border the left border mainly formed by the left ventricle less like by the left auricles the left auricle is a part of left atrium the superior form the superior border is formed by the right and the left atrium and auricles so we should focus on which parts of the heart is formed which border and which which surface as well as the base and the apex and no yetinyaw ye heart kifel no border form ya agle meni yetinya yort kifel no meni li dagmo surface form ya agle na apex yetinya yort kifel no form ya agle bezu yetinya yort yort kifel no form ya agle milon focus argen lenay igaban malatno this is the left atrium and right atrium and uh, uh, this is the left atrium and right atrium and this is right ventricle and left ventricles so this is a heart model the heart models uh, which shows the aortic of right aortic and left aortic and right ventricle and left ventricles and as see from the picture the blue color is deoxygenated blood and the red color shows the oxygenated blood 
uh, when you see this uh, picture this model the this is a preliminary trunk the preliminary trunk transported the oxygenated blood from right ventricle to the lung and there is a branch pulmonary arteries the gi branch of pulmonary artery and this pulmonary trunk and this one is uh, the aorta the great aorta the great artery of the body the aorta uh, it is give red color because of uh, transported oxygenated blood from right ventricle to uh, the body this is a descending aorta this is a descending aorta that is a branch of uh, uh, aorta i mean the uh, continuation of aorta the other one is uh, uh, the red color the two red color shows that there is a pulmonary veins which transported blood from lung to the left artery the left artery so there is four four uh, pulmonary artery which is two on the right side and the two uh, on the left side i show this uh, the model model will end up uh uh now yeah on yeah my superior vena cava superior vena cava inferior vena cava they are blue color because of they transport the oxygenated blood from the lung from the body to uh, the lung so this is the left artery and receive your so sometimes sometimes the heart does not have uh, the heart lose it is normal position embryological uh, during embryological development the heart can lose its function function and no, normal position or lose it direct so what is the normal position of that we should get the apex on the left side at the fifth intercostal space nine centimeter from the median plate and we should get the base on the right side and we should get the normal position of the heart we should get the two thirds of the heart on the left side one third of the heart part should get on the right side but in biological development within the uterus sometimes the heart can have dextrocardia dextrocardia means the apex is fine on the right side normally the apex should get on the left side but in the de dextrocardia of normal tube the heart the apex get on the left side so if you wanted to hear the heartbeat you can get the heartbeat on the right side normally the apex beat of the heartbeat should get on the left side but in the dextrocardiac abnormality the heartbeat get on the right side fifth intercostal space nine centimeter from the medial plate. This is a positional abnormality. It is a rare abnormality, a rare embryological defect. This is a rare embryological defect. So the great vessels can have also shift. So aorta find on the left side normally, but in the dextrocardia it's find on the right side. Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava normally.